Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the first time I've done an in-person for a while, but I did want to just let you know that um, we went up to Syracuse, New York and bought the contents of Carl's Clocks. Uh, that's with a K and a K. Um, anyway, we uh, decided that because we there was so much inventory, that we are going to open a clock shop and I just wanted to, you know, kind of give you a little uh, tutorial first and then um, a little uh, preview of what's coming. Uh, we're going to kind of do this in a kind of formal clock shop way and um, flea market for clock and watch parts. Uh, we just have so much stuff and we have so much to clean out and clear out. Um, some of it brand new, some of it older, some of it very old. Uh, we have started selling some of it already on our uh, eBay channel, uh, our eBay store, JR Clocker. And we'll continue to do that, but as you're about to see here, um, there's a lot of stuff to sell, and I don't know if we can, you know, sell it all with, uh, <laughs> just, uh, the eBay store. I mean, there's just so much stuff. Anyway, um, let me show you a little bit what we've done. Well, let's start at the beginning. This is the front door of this shop. We're gonna do a, a a bunch of clocks here, so you just actually can't see what's going on behind the clocks. Uh, this is going to be a counter here. Um, then uh, we just have a lot of grandfather clocks. Uh, and uh, this clock here is lit up and has two different color neon. That's going to be in this front window here. There's going to be a workbench right here. Probably more workbenches. Uh, and then we'll have this big uh, uh, cuckoo clock running. That'll be kind of like the store icon. Uh, there's the big top for it right up there. Anyway, so we'll get uh, that set up. and We've been running it, but we've decided to stop it for right now. I actually do need to take it apart and uh, uh, clean it, oil it, get it back in a good running shape and back up there. Anyway, then uh, let me see here. Let's get far back. All right, so we're going to have a counter. Uh, then probably a showcase here, showcase further down. Um, and... <clears throat> we'll come down to about, oh, right here where this comes in. And then the showcase may be here. Uh, this area here will be just for employees. And actually, I'm going to be teaching, so some students will be here too. Let's look at seeing some of the stuff that we have. Uh, some of it you've already seen. This is a really nice... Uh, uh, mid-century, but we'll pull that out, clean it up. Uh, we have a lot of new stuff. Um, we'll, we'll be ready for the Christmas season, that's for sure. And uh, so, just pull these out, and there, there's inventory behind it. Trish has done a great job with helping me get this place organized. There's a lot of cute stuff, but it's not going to be that expensive. I mean... You know, he has some crazy prices on here. I think we have this one here on eBay. I don't know, fourteen dollars plus shipping, um, and that's very competitive to what they're selling for out in the market. I think they're going for about twenty-eight uh, for the shipping. Um, anyway, so oh, we have some good Santa Claus stuff. Now we're going to be doing local auctions with some of this stuff um this is actually pretty cool one with the little plane that goes around in circles um as a second hand 
So I don't even actually know what to, if, oh yeah, plenty. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't been here in a couple of days, so I don't know what's going on, but there's a lot of stuff. <clears throat> and as I said, oh, these are actually really pretty. These are attractive clocks, little bulbous. I think she's making this little bulbous section here. Um, and nothing down here yet. Uh, but uh, this is one that, here's it. These are actually really pretty cool. I just dug into this box here. And this is like a little uh, tall case. Oh, I wish it had a real moon dial, but that would be cool. Uh, I wish it had a real second hand, but it's just a little quartz clock. But it, the artwork's done nicely. It's a pretty cool looking clock. You know, a little something, you know, hang on your wall in your office or whatever. Here's a smaller version of that clock uh, that we just put up on eBay. Um, you know, little Ingrid. A lot of these clocks, I've never even seen anything like this before, but I don't really delve too much in there. Now, <clears throat> I did want to show you. This is a bull of a, uh, these are crystal, re uh, not crystal regulator, carriage clocks. And here's one over here. I've been running it. It's keeping pretty good time. Uh, anyway, it's a time only. Um, that will be going up on eBay, but we'll sell them here too. Uh, just a little stuff some stuff you know i just unfortunately um this case when when people see me and they go oh you know you sound all these men this case is a wreck it's never going to be a good case again it would never ever be worth trying to put together but it's a seth thomas and i'm going to show you the movement and i'm going to show you the dial you know, it's a, it's a 113. I think that's what that is. Oh, I got to put my glasses on. I'm like blind as a bat. Yeah, 113A. And this is a dial for it. And this is in actually pretty good condition. So, you know, lots of times these would just be all thrown away. And it's nice to have this. This will be up on eBay probably in the next couple of days. And it's just a nice, nice uh, movement. Uh, parts move. I haven't done anything, tested it, anything. But I will keep them together because it's really hard to find. One, these movements are really hard to find. Two, it's really hard to find these dials. Anyway, we took a look for this side here, which is actually my mess. And uh, now we'll look at this side here. These are tamers that were trying to take a peek at what we want to do with them. These some newer ones down here, and then there's a nice iron front. Um, I don't know who made the iron front. I should have take, taken a look at that before we go. This is actually a really nice uh, um, um, oh, Ansonia. That's what it is. It's an Ansonia, but I can't get it open. Uh, that's what I was going to do. Get it open and this one-handed stuff. All right, there we Okay, there we go. Anyway, this is a nice Ansonia. Um, you know, it's, it's decorated, decorated cases. These are not very common, you know, kind of like a toll decoration. And uh, I don't know, we'll have to look that up, see if uh, it's uh, worth putting out there. Uh, we'll take it out, that's for sure. But a lot of these things are missing the dial. And, um, now here, this is a little ship's clock uh, uh, by Seth Thomas, and I do have the spokes. Uh, I, as soon as I saw this clock, I grabbed the spokes out of it, and I've been carrying them in, in my pocket for about three weeks, and then I finally took them out, put them in a safe spot. Um, anyway, we will sell this together. I will clean this up. Um, but, you know, an Elgin, I mean, these, you know, I, the movements are worth something, especially if, if they're good, you know, running movements. But a lot of this stuff was just, well, a lot of stuff was kept like this. I mean, this is just unbelievable that this, you know, this is all cuckoo clock stuff. Okay. Now we do have some uh, new in box cuckoo clocks right in here. Um, never been used, whatever. And, you know, we have a bunch of, uh, you know, backs that we'll be selling. This is not a new in box. This is just an old one. 
Um, you know, but we do have new in box right down here. Uh, but just a lot of a lot of parts, a lot of things that we're gonna do. Look at look at just a pendulum. You know, I mean, it's crazy. Uh, I you know, if I can make a suggestion when you do cuckoo clocks, now here's a back for one, but so many of them are missing their backs, and then they end up in bins like this, and it's just not you know, it's just crazy to have to go through stuff like that. Here's a little section of newer stuff. Uh, Trish, I think this is what she was going through today. Um, tempo. Uh, these are all empty boxes here. She's pulling them all out. Um, car speakers. Man, do we have car speakers. Like crazy, do we have car speakers. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is here. Let's see if I can figure out what this is. Oh, uh, some kind of lights. I don't know. We there are all kinds of stuff in here. Um, and and wall clocks. You know, I mean, you know, they're all counted. I guess <laughs> this is a really pretty uh, clock. I'll be getting that out. There are a lot of really nice wall clocks, uh, modern but but nice. Uh, here's Trisha's. You know. Uh, put these together here, chime bars, gongs, uh, weights and shells on the bottom, pendulums. This is another box of pendulums here. I know that because I was just in it. Uh, clock hands. I mean, you know, quartz fit-ups, uh, clock doors, pinnials, bells, numbers, all kinds of stuff. And uh, I'm just trying to move some stuff here. You know, so this will all be, um, uh, and, and by the way, we've got all these, these boxes. They're great. I, I love them because, uh, but they're all from Toys R Us, uh, uh, supplier over in Brooklyn, just, uh, or Queens or somewhere, just sold a whole ton of them. We bought 150 of them. Anyway, uh, just kind of crazy. I mean, just trying to get this to stuff together i don't know what these these boxes are let me see how well, it could be you know the heavy ones have the the bigger movements in it but look at just this just just crazy 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 um just bracket clocks like galore and then stuff up here these look like newer clocks um, these are I believe yeah these are uh, weather stations or not weather stations but uh, eh, except for the wind uh, they have barometers and temperatures and and a clock at the top but yeah, these are all. Oh, yeah, here's a better one, nicer looking one. This is actually kind of a truck. Yeah, not bad. This is a different one. Um, yeah, it's nice. Nice little. Good Christmas gifts. Um, it's back here. Oh, just another lot of. Uh, we do have some Atmos that will be coming out. I think uh, we have a really, we have a couple of them right in here. I know that because we have some more. I know. Um, evidently, that's one of Carl's uh, claims to fame because he's actually pretty good at Atmos, um, and he's gotten a lot of uh, peer reviews and stuff like that about his work um, with Atmos clocks. And uh, I've been trying to read up, find as much as I can out about them. Okay, let's uh, take a look back here. All right, these are just stacked. Um, just stacked. Uh, and 
I mean, this is really cleaned up compared to when we first came, brought all this stuff in. Now we do have another full trailer load. Um, there's some really huge glass dials. We have two of them. We have another, uh, uh, some advertising um, uh, dials and some uh, signs and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Anyway, that's it for today. I just wanted to, um, you know, talk to you a little bit about, you know, where we're heading. We should be opening sometime uh, in November. Um, what we are going to do is, as I showed you in the back room, uh, or in the back area, and I'll bring you back here one more time, um, in this area here, we'll... we'll for people that are interested in clocks uh, for as a hobby, repairing them or whatever, we're going to be setting up tables here and, you know, basically selling stuff real cheap uh, and just trying to help out as much as we can. Um, we're, we are dedicated to getting young people involved uh, in horology um because it's a dying art literally it's a dying art when i joined the nawcc the national watch and clock collectors association there are fifty six thousand members worldwide today unfortunately there's less than thirteen thousand, and uh, we really need to try to build it up again um and make it the great thing it is at clocks is a clocks and watches and don't let me uh, this we bought a clock shop, but we heavily deal in watch parts. Uh, you know, it's our motto: we want to save these parts, uh, whether they're watch or clocks, uh, before they hit the dumpster. I mean, that's our our mission statement. That's our motto. So, uh, anybody out there, if you have parts or tools or um, something you don't know what you want to do with or you know, I mean, in this in this case, it was we it needed to be out of the building um, because the building needed to be sold, and so uh, you know we swooped in, and um, this is what we do. We've bought two clock shops and two watch shops this year in 2020. We were a little bit hampered because of COVID, but we have at least three for 2021 uh, clock shops and I believe two uh, watch shops. So we're, we're, we're out there, we're busy and, and I mean, we're full, but that's good for you because uh, we just wanna, you know, get the stuff out back out here. We, believe me, we're not hoarders. We may look like hoarders, but we are not hoarders. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see you next time. Thank you for stopping by and being patient. This is a long video. And it's the longest I've done for a while. Uh, you'll con continue to see uh, my videos and different movements that we're pulling out. Uh, all kinds of wild things that we're putting up on eBay. Uh, subscribe, okay, please. Because uh, that's one of the fastest ways to get to see what we're going to be doing next. And... Um, and follow us on Instagram, JR Clocker. Everything is JR Clocker. You, a matter of fact, you want to find out where I am? All you have to do is Google JR Clocker, and it will tell you. Now, the store is not in the Google realm yet, but it will be. But we're we're just off of downtown Nazareth, um, and uh, we're near the big giant. Uh, grocery store and uh, uh, and there's a Dollar Tree right across the street. I'm just going to show you real quick right across the street there. Uh, we're in what they call Nazareth Plaza right next to uh, Kurt Cycle uh, Cyclery. Anyway, um, I hope that showed. Let me try that again. We're next to Kurt's Cyclery and over there is the Dollar Tree and right in the back there is uh, a giant market, and that's our gas 
there. But anyway, come down and visit us. And uh, again, if you uh, send me a message, um, if you want to set up uh, before we open and come on down, that's fine. Just uh, we're doing it kind of on appointment basis only. But yeah, you can get in here and see some cool stuff. And, and if you need something, uh, we'll be glad to try to help find it for you. All right. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, we'll see you next time.